Hello, we're going to introduce Lifter LMS Gravity Forms, uh, the all new Lifter LMS extension that integrates with the popular form building plugin. Uh, there's a couple different things that you can do with this plugin. We're going to be introducing that over the next several videos. Uh, this first one is just going to show you how to get started and how to install everything. Um, so we're going to start over here. You'll see I have a couple Lifter LMS extensions installed. This will require the very latest version of Lifter LMS 2.7.11. Um, and we've tested this up to Gravity Forms 2.0.2. Um, right now, this I just saw this release come out today, and I tested it again with 2.0.3, and it's all good. Um, so I've got those things uh, here. They're not yet activated, but I'm going to go and I'm going to activate uh, both Lifter LMS and Gravity Forms. Um, and then, you know, as soon as you purchase this, we'll give you a, um, a zip archive of Lifter LMS Gravity Forms, which is just a small plugin. Looks something like this, only uh, it's not going to have a Git directory in here for you. Uh, so anyway, we will install that. Um, we'll do an add new plugin. Oops. Um, we're going to upload this plugin. And we'll just drag our Gravity Forms over here and drop it and click install now. And that will get you installed. You can activate it. Um, and you'll see over here, once we're activated, you can go to Lifter LMS settings, your integrations tab, uh, and you'll, you'll have a new settings area. Uh, the base Lifter LMS Gravity Forms doesn't actually have any settings. This will appear here if you have your Lifter LMS helper installed so you can get automatic updates. So if I just activate our helper, I'm going to refresh this page. Uh, that license key we give you, uh, you'll have that in your email, or you can always get it from your Lifter LMS account dashboard. Once you paste that in here and click Save Changes, it'll verify your um, your copy of Gravity Forms and then, or Lifter LMS Gravity Forms, and then in the future you'll be able to update Gravity Forms right through this interface. So that's it for installing the plugin. Uh, if you follow along in the next couple of videos, we'll show you a couple of the things that you can do with it. So that's all. Take care.